Hi, um, we're here to talk about our 2017 State of Cybersecurity Report. I'm Sean Sullivan, and this is... Hi, I'm Andy Patel. Hello. Hello. Okay, so ransomware, which is now so mainstream, we don't even need to say crypto ransomware, because everybody understands that it's going to go after your files, it's going to encrypt them, and it's going to hold them for, for ransom for, for money, and that's payable via Bitcoin. Um, so we've seen this change over the years from other business schemes. What were the previous business schemes, Andy? Uh, previous business schemes were stuff like um, Scareware, so fake AV, yeah. um, screen locking, ransomware. Browser lockers, yeah. banking trojans. Right. Right, and, and in years past, we've had these schemes fall apart by... Uh, going after the money trail, so the credit card companies uh, that were processing the scareware fees uh, stopped doing the payment processing, money trails were followed, people were arrested. Um, banks for banking trojans have better back-end protections, but with crypto ransomware, it's on, where, where's, the, where's the schemes located? Uh, well, I mean, the, the infrastructure is on the darknet, it's hidden behind Tor, and the payment model is via Bitcoin, which is untraceable. Well, not untraceable, well, but very hard to trace, very right? Hard so to it's trace, yeah. in 2017, we don't expect any sort of disruption of this business model. And you can see from the visualization here, it's it's grown quite a bit, and we don't expect that to slow down at all in 2017. We have several articles about ransomware in the report, um, so please take a read.